What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to divide a fraction by a fraction. And I'm also going to show you a simple trick you can use in order to remember how to do this. Okay, so how do you divide a fraction by a fraction? Well, first, let's just look at a regular fraction really quick. Okay, so if I had 2 over 3, this would be the same thing as the numerator, right, 2, divided by the denominator, right, 3. So, we can apply that same logic to our problem right here, okay? Because we'll do the numerator, right? 2 over 3 divided by, right? Divided by the denominator, 3 over 5. 3 over 5. Okay, so where do you go from here? Well, you can remember a simple acronym, which is just KFC. So if you're hungry, KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. But in this case, it's going to stand for Keep, Flip, Change. Okay, so whenever you get to this point right here, okay, just writing out this division problem, you're going to remember this little acronym, okay? KFC, Keep, Flip, Change. What do I mean by that? Okay, so we're going to keep the first one, we're going to flip the second one, and we're going to change our sign, okay? So if I write this out, we're going to keep the first one, okay, so two-thirds is just going to stay as two-thirds. We're going to flip the second one, so three over five is going to turn into five over three. And then we're going to change our sign right here, okay? So instead of dividing, we're actually going to multiply. Okay, now multiplying fractions is way easier than dividing them, okay? So when you multiply fractions, you literally just multiply straight across, okay? So what's two times five? That's 10. Okay, so that's in the numerator. And then in the denominator, what's 3 times 3? That's 9. Okay, so looking at the original problem, 2 thirds divided by 3 fifths is equal to 10 over 9. All right, let's just do two more examples, and they're both going to have negative numbers in them. Okay, so here we have negative 2 thirds divided by 3 fifths, positive 3 fifths. So how are we going to do this? Well, remember, our first step is just going to be rewriting this whole ugly looking fraction into a normal division problem. Okay, so this is going to equal our numerator, negative two-thirds, divided by, right, that's what our fraction bar means, division, divided by three-fifths. Three-fifths. So this is going to equal, well, let's see, I'm going to keep this first one, so negative two-thirds is just going to stay as negative two-thirds. I'm going to flip the second one, so 3 over 5 is going to turn into 5 over 3, and then I'm going to change the sign. Okay, so instead of division, we're multiplying. So how are we going to multiply these? Well, there's two ways you can think of it, okay? So this negative sign is obviously what might be throwing you off. So if you ever see a negative fraction like this, you see how this negative sign isn't attached to the 2 or 3? It's just out here, like, on the side. Well, if you want, you can attach it to either the 2 or the 3. Okay? Negative 2 thirds is the same thing as negative 2 over positive 3, and that's the same thing as positive 2 over negative 3. This negative sign, you can move it to either the top or the bottom. So in this case, if I wanted to, I could get rid of that negative sign right there, and then I could just put it on the top here. So then this is a little easier to see, right? So negative 2 times 5, well, a negative times a positive is a negative, right? And then 2 times 5 is 10. And then that's going to go over positive 3 times positive 3, which is 9, okay? So then your answer would be negative 10 over 9. Now, the other way you could see this negative sign is just leaving it where it is, okay? Right there next to it. And then again, multiplying by 5 over 3. And then we're just going to ignore the negative sign for now, okay? We're not getting rid of it, we're just ignoring it for a second. Okay, so what's 2 times 5? So that's going to be 10 in the numerator, right? And then in the denominator, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, now let's bring our negative sign back. And now the way you can think about this is, okay, what is a negative number times a positive number? Well, a negative times a positive is a negative. So you can apply that same logic here and tell yourself, okay, a negative fraction times a positive fraction is a negative 
fraction. So in either case, you can see we got the same answer, right? Negative 10 over 9 and negative 10 ninths. Same thing. All right, so now let's just do one more example where both of the fractions are negative. Okay, so this looks kind of scary, but again, don't worry, let's just follow our steps. So let's rewrite this as just a regular division problem, okay? So the numerator is going to go first, right? So negative 4 sevenths, and then we're going to divide, right? Divide by our denominator, negative 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds. Okay, now that we rewrote this, we can apply the KFC method. So again, we're going to keep this first fraction as it is. So negative 4 sevenths stays as negative 4 sevenths. Then we're going to flip this second fraction over here. So negative 2 over 3 is going to turn into negative 3 over 2. Okay? Now, one thing I want to point out real quick is this fraction that we just flipped was negative 2 over 3. So since it's negative, you keep it negative, right? Because with the last three examples we did, when we flipped this fraction, they were all positive, so we kept them positive, okay? Now in this case, this one is negative, so you're going to keep it negative. Okay, and then lastly, of this KFC method, we have the C, so that means we're going to change our sign. So instead of dividing, we're going to multiply. Okay, so now we have negative 4 over 7 times negative 3 over 2. So again, I'm just going to hide my negative signs really quick, right? Don't get rid of them, we're just hiding them for a second. So what is 4 times 3? 4 times 3 is equal to 12, and then on the bottom we have 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. Okay, now let's bring our negative signs back. Okay, so we have a negative number times a negative number. A negative times a negative is a positive, right? So your answer here is going to be positive 12 over 14. All right, guys, so that's how you divide a fraction by a fraction. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check those out, and I'll see you there.